Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Hello, Carlitos. Good evening. Welcome, Carlos. Hello. Well, many of your classmates are connecting already. So hopefully we're going to have the whole group together in a second. Hello, Saul, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm doing great. What about you? Yeah, I'm okay too. I'm glad to hear that. Well, thanks for being on time. That's very important. And today, well, today is one day before our final class. Tomorrow we are going to have short evaluations about speaking. I will give you a couple of questions for you to answer tomorrow in class. We are going to finish with the grammar of the units today. And as you all finish with your platform, so there's no problem. So thank you very much. If anyone is having any difficulty, let me know. Okay, Elmer is here, Rosario is here, welcome. How was your day, people? What did you do? In my case, teacher, um, I, was, I was in home all the day. Oh, I really? was reading a book. Okay. Yeah. So it was a very busy day today. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Rosario. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So you had a busy day today. What about the rest? How was your day? What did you do? In my case, teacher, I was in a meeting at work uh, for from. 8 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. Really? Every half, every half day to be in front of the screen. The oh, pantalla. my God. So you had to, you, it was on the computer. Uh, yeah. It yeah. was a virtual meeting. It's, oh, my God. Yes, yes. Very nice. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, that, that's the best part of everything. Thank you for being for being here, for being glad to be joining this class. So uh, I am just plugging something. There you go. So imagine eight hours in a meeting. Oh my God, <laughs> that should be a long speaking day. <laughs> well, thank you Iris for sharing. What about the rest? I would like to listen to a couple of more uh, participations about what did you do today? For me, I was stay in my home. You stay at home. Yeah, and I am helping with my sister's homework. Oh, really? <laughs> you are helping with your sister's <laughs> homework. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. So that's nice yes. that, you, that you are helping her. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Yes, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Well, so many of the things that you do during the day are very curious because imagine every minute we do something different. If you think we are always doing different things, we are always working on something different. So it is very interesting to know how our days are different. Have you listened to any cigars near your house? Do you know what's the meaning of cigar? Yes, teacher. The cigars uh, are last chicharras. Yes. Yes, I listen yes. to a cigar in this moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, before before that, it was like, hi, we don't have any cigars. Ah, oh, we miss them. And now, ush, eh, all the day. <laughs> so before it's like, ay, cuánto la extraño. And now, ay, qué bulla. So 
but we love them, right? It, it, it makes me feel in Holy Week, definitely. It makes me feel in Holy Week. Do you have any plans for Holy Week? What are you going to do? What are your plans for vacations? In my case, teacher, I go into the church and the, the, this week. Okay, you go to the church all the week. Yes, in, in the day, in the in the uh, at night. In the night, I visit visit. Uh, I going to visit my mom. Okay, good, very good. So, what about the rest? What are your plans for vacations? Are you going to stay at home? Are you going to go out? Are you going to travel? My okay, teacher, I don't, I don't like to go to the church, but I think that uh, we had a meeting with my family, and we are going to to go to a river. The name is Sumpul. Sumpul River. Hey, Sumpul! That's a very famous place. Yeah. Good. Enjoy. Very... Enjoy and send yeah. a lot of pictures of Sumpul River. <laughs> okay, good, okay. very good. Oscar Eduardo, you were going to tell me something. Yes, yes, we are going to, to Guatemala. Uh, maybe, yes, uh, uh, Antigua. Oh, to Antigua. Guatemala, uh, yes, uh, in Panajachel. Ah, Panajachel is a very beautiful place. With, 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 with my family, my that's, wife and my two children. That's so beautiful. Mm. Panajachel is really beautiful. I love the lake. And well, the, the place is kind of scary because it's, it, it has a lot of curves on the street and it is difficult to, to get there, but it is a very beautiful place. It has this beautiful lake and a lot of touristic places to visit. Good. What about the ladies? Where is the girl power? What are the ladies going to do? I have. Uh -huh. We are going to spend today at the beach for my mom's uh, birthdays. Hey. And sleep. Uh, and I spend the rest of the vacation and with my children. Time that's so beautiful. <laughs> time with your family, right? Family time. That's so beautiful. You will go to the beach and celebrate. Happy birthday to your mother in advance. Christina, what are you going to do on your vacations? Um, I think I am just going to stay at home. <laughs> just to stay at home. <laughs> Yeah. Do, you, do you like something specific about the vacation? The food, the traditional candies, the traditions, I don't know, the celebrations. What is something that you like? What is something specific that you like from this week? Maybe the food. The food? <laughs> yes, it is delicious. Okay. Do you like covered fish? I will send it on the chat for you to have it. The covered fish. Cover fish is pescado forrado. Do you like cover fish? Mm, no. Cover no. fish. Cover fish <laughs> is like pe it. I don't, I don't like, like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. Anything that is covered, I think I, the only thing that I like it's the chilaquilas that are covered with egg, but the rest with ilpacaya. I, I don't like it. I like torrejas. Ah, torrejas, well, torrejas, yes, torrejas are good. Yes, yeah, I love it, the torrejas. The torrejas <laughs> are... In, in honey, or how do you say, put in miel? <laughs> ah, honey. Honey mumbings. Honey mumbings. Honey mumbings. Thank you. Yeah, the, the honey mumbings. Mumbings are jocotes. Oh, honey mumbings. That so is a new... It's a new word for you, I know. <laughs> and I discovered yeah. it. I discovered it because that's my favorite fruit. I love mumbings. I mean, Corona mumbings are my favorite fruit in the world. 
So I, I, I had to investigate how do you say mom beans in English because I am a teacher. So it was like, I need to know, I said. So the Which mom beans do you like? I like the Corona mom beans. I, the big yeah. ones. <laughs> Yeah, there are others that they use for for refreshments and stuff, but I I don't I don't like the ones that are very like sour or acid. I don't like them, but I I can eat them right anyway. Si me regalan así, I can eat them, <laughs> but they are not my favorite. Teacher, I I have an interview. Not is about the future of the colleagues, but it's about the the just. Of just of yesterday about uh -huh. yesterday. Yeah, tell me. Um, I I was confused yesterday because in in everywhere. Oh, the microphone! The microphone! The microphone. Me quedé a medio de de la historia que pasó. René, I got you back. I lose you again. Okay. I feel like in the movies, right? Yes, the assassin is, and then you you just get it like what? Who is it? Who's the murder? Okay, Rene. I'm sorry, I, there you go. I was troubles with the I, signal. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my interview is about the uh, about about of gesture, right? Uh huh. Because uh, I was confused with, with uh, the yellow flowers. <laughs> Everybody talk about that, in, 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 and I and I was lost. Oh yeah, that is well. That is not a Salvadorian tradition, right? There are many things that we just adapt and adopt because we think that they are cool, right? Um, this tradition with the flowers. I don't know if you saw that yesterday. Que todo mundo andaba que mis flores amarillas, que no qué, que no es cuánto. So. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that there was this soap opera, Floricienta, right? I don't know if you remember it, that they, yes, they, remember they that. did it on the soap opera, that this tradition of giving flowers in the first day of a spring, right? In El Salvador, we don't even have a spring, aquí ni primavera tenemos, but we, we love to adopt traditions. And the thing is that many people were asking because of TikTok trends uh, about these yellow flowers. And it's like, I will wait for my yellow flowers tomorrow. Because in Mexico, yesterday was the first day of spring. And so they commemorate that giving flowers to people, right? Specifically yellow because of Floricienta. But uh, the tradition is to celebrate spring. And here they did it like an obligation, right? I want my yellow flowers. If not, you don't love me. That was the tradition, right? It is not something. Yes. It is all, not all something. All the dear friends, all the dear friends asked about that. Yeah, but it was it was because of that. It's a Mexican tradition, and they were adopting this thing. And well, Mexicans celebrate spring, but we were not celebrating anything. They just said like, "Ah, si es tienen yo también," it's, right? It's so, marketing. <laughs> it was marketing. At least Valentine's is international, right? But this one is invented. They just, it was the first year, I think, that they did it. Because I have never listened to that. Yeah, teacher, I, and yesterday I said, hey, what happened here? Because all the people get uh, yellow flowers. My yeah. gift, uh, my gift, my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Uh, said, girlfriend. Said me, told and me. my girlfriend said me, uh, all the people get a uh, yellow flower. And I said, what happened? Why? I, I wish I, I, I wish I had a boyfriend to give me yellow flowers. <laughs> Yes, I don't remember the last year. Uh, no, it was it was something I, I from this year. That. No, it was something from this year. So for next year, prepare on March twenty first to give flowers to uh, your beloved ones because it was for boys and girls, right? I know today is the International Day of Water, so drink water, okay? That's important. And plant trees. That's even more important because if we don't have trees, we don't have water. And if you want to give flowers, give it in a maceta, right? So the lady can take care of the whole plant. No? Yes, but the 21 of March uh, is, is the day, the International Day of the Syndrome, syndrome Town. Too. Yeah, exactly like that as well. It, it, is, it is also celebrated and it's uh, the day of poetry. 
I think it's today or yesterday. I don't remember. It's the International Day of Poetry. So I thought that it was because of that, but no, it was Floricent. But uh, if no one, if no one gave you anything yesterday, don't worry. I am going to look for one for you. So here you have my yellow flowers for my students. <laughs> now I gave you flowers, you see? There you go, for you, your flower. <laughs> okay, my dear class, let's move on business then after this cultural moment of flowers and activities. We're going to do a little, oh, thank you, Saul. What a beautiful yellow flower you gave to all the class. <laughs> Thank you. I think, no, I just have red ones here. Ta-da. I have red flowers. And they are a little bit old. So, a bank truck overturns and millions of dollar bills fall out. You have here the picture. Imagine if you are on the street and a lot of dollars start falling on your, on your head. That will be preciously fantastic a lot of dollars and you will be catching up dollars there. And it says, what would you suggest in this case? We have two options of suggestions, collect the money and keep it, collect the money and return it. And what other suggestion would you add here? ¿Qué otra cosa sugeriríamos? Collect the money and keep it. Collect the money and return it, or what is another thing that we can do? Collect the money and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Collect the money with everything there. Collect the money and run away. Yes. <laughs> On the shirt, right? You put your shirt and you put the money there. Yeah, send the money straight to the bank. Another bank, right? Not the bank of the of the truck. Okay, si el carro era de, del back, no van a ir al back. Go to another bank. I want to put this on my bank account, please. Thank you very much. Someone climbs through your neighbor's window. Someone climbs through your neighbor's window. What can you do? Call the police ring the doorbell or what is another thing that you suggest what can we do we are here and we see someone climbing the door the window of your neighbor let kaiser go and bite him what would you do okay. yeah. the person had to fix and my window. <laughs> the person has to fix the window. Yeah, but the problem here is that you are in your house and you see someone, a strange person, climbing the door, the window of your neighbor. So this person wants to enter to the house. What are you going to do? Mm, yells at the neighbor. To yell, right? Neighbor, neighbor, right? Okay, to alert, to alert your neighbors. What else can you do? To turn on the lights, right? Here in El Salvador, there is a security system, like totally effective, the light. If you are not at home, but the light is on, the thief is going to say, hey, no, no puedo saltar, ayuda los encendidos. So turn the light on, that will be very effective. Um, if we have a camera at home. <laughs> yeah, if you, you can record, right? You can record the criminal. <laughs> Start a live session on TikTok. <laughs> en vivo, ladrón. <laughs> so you can call the police. You can ring the doorbell. You can alert the neighbors. You can record the thief. And you can turn on the lights and the cameras, right? Those are many things that you can do. It is like when the thief goes inside your house and says, like, I'm looking for money. And you're going to say, let's look for it. Busquemos juntos, you will say. 
your boss makes things difficult for you at work. So your boss is constantly bothering you at work. What is something that you need to do? Talk to your boss, look for another job, or... Learn about my new job. Learn about the new job, okay. What else can you do if your boss is making your life difficult? Chicos, solo tengo seis cámaras activas. Perdón que les hablo en español, pero solo tengo seis cámaras activas de 22 participantes. Así que, porfa, ayúdenme con eso. Thank you very much to all the ones that are always ready with their cameras. Okay. Para que después no nos llamen la atención a ustedes ni a mí. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ana Julia. Thank you, Daisy, Marbelli, and the rest of you. Okay. You look very beautiful on camera, so don't worry. You are always sexy, so show the world. I think the best option if your boss is making your life difficult is to talk to him. And if he doesn't understand, look for another job. A friend sounds unhappy on the phone. Can you recognize when your friends are unhappy? When yeah. you talk to them? Yes. That the is something, intonation of the, the, word, of the, the intonation of the words, right? It is very, very like specific things that you can recognize from them. What, are, what can you do in this case? Ask your friend if he or she has a problem. Tell lots of jokes to make your friend laugh. Or what else can you do? Visit my phone. friend. Visit my friend, Renee. Which one? Call out the call. Okay, call out, right? To call out your friend. What else can you do? You can invite him or her for coffee or something and you can talk. Go for some beers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, go for, <laughs> for some beers. Depending. That is Depend a good solution. <laughs> He is going to tell you everything and more, definitely. Ahí sí le va a contar todo y todo. Yeah. Si le da más de cuatro, ya le contó hasta lo que no ha pasado. So, uh, that, well, that's a very good solution. I will go for a coffee, but if you want to go for beers, I will join you with coffee. So, in order to give a specific solutions, you can use words like this one. You say like, I will probably, I would, I, I might, I think I would, I guess, okay? In the case of the friend, I am going to use this one for the example. You say like, a friend sounds unhappy on the phone. What would you do? You can say, well, I might ask him, uh, what's the situation? What's going on? I think I will uh, tell lots of jokes. I guess I can ask him what's going on. I will probably invite him for something and talk, right? You can use these words to introduce your solution, right? Imagine that uh, you haven't finished the platform. It's just a, a, a situation, right? If you haven't finished the platform tonight, what will you do? Si no lo hubieran terminado porque se queda la terminaron todos, uh, what what could you do? What would be the solution? You can use one of the introductory words. I would probably ask uh, for co co-workers or, or, or other classmates if if I have a a dove. Okay, I would probably look uh, for help. You say. Or I will probably ask my coworkers, my friends for help. Imagine if your teacher, uh, if your teacher starts an exam right now, what will you do? If I say, okay, exam. I, 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 will, I, I, will, probably, I will probably, uh, have problems 
<laughs> I will probably have problems. Yeah. What else I could be? Could... I, I am crying. <laughs> I will probably cry. Well, that's a, that's another option, right? Not the solution, but an option, right? I will probably cry. Um, what what else could happen? Do you think that you could be ready for that? I think I will yeah. do it. You say, yeah, yeah, right. You will be ready for anything <clears throat> that comes. Right. I will probably cry. <laughs> Okay, I have here, and in these ones, you are going to give me the solution, right? Here, we have five different situations. The first one, uh, Christina, can you help me to read the first one? If a relative asked to borrow some money, I will. Very good. Uh, Byron, number two. If I had three wishes. Very good. Rosario, number three. If I could have. If I could have any job. I wanted. If I could have any job I wanted. Okay. My internet is coughing. You listen, yeah. You listen, I, I, I listen to you now, right? My internet was like ah, 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 dying. Okay. Solo, solo de bipolar. <laughs> Estoy inestable. If I had a year of vacation time, and the last one, Saul, can you help me to read the last one? Okay, if I could change. One thing about myself. Okay, I need you to give me the answer for one of these ones, okay? Not the five, only one, but I need a good answer, okay? Go ahead, write it on your notebook and I need you to read it to me, okay? en el cuaderno. There you go. Choose one, but I need a good answer because all of you are going to give me the answer. Todos me la van a dar la respuesta, pero necesito que esté bien correcta y completa. Okay, that's why only one. If you want to answer the other ones, that's perfect. But I will ask you for one. Write it down. Once you're ready, raise your hand. Okay, cuando la terminen y ya estén listos, pueden levantar la mano en la plataforma para que yo pueda irlos llamando. Okay, Saul is the first one. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, I choose the number three. If I could have any job I wanted, yeah, I would like to to work <clears throat> in high school. After that, I would like to to teach a English class. <laughs> really? Wow. Like you. How nice. Yeah, that's a very beautiful profession, right? To teach uh, English, right? I think I wouldn't be good to teach mathematics or something, but I like English. So, Saul, keep preparing yourself. And yeah, because I would like to work with children. Oh, how beautiful. Let me know. I have openings for teachers. <laughs> Justo andamos buscando maestros, así que let me know. I'm here. In a, in a couple of months, I can have you there teaching children, right? That would be so fantastic. Keep preparing, Saul. Keep preparing and uh, keep me informed. Manténgame informada del proceso de preparación. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good. Very good, Saul. Thank you very much. Someone else? All of you will participate, so it doesn't matter the order. Todos van a uh, participar, así que no hay orden. Someone has it ready? Read this one. Go ahead, Iris. Um, it, 
either to work of the uh, doctor. You will work as a doctor. So you chose number three. <clears throat> yeah. If I could have any job I wanted, you could be, a, I would be a doctor, you say. Okay. A doctor and a teacher. Nice. I have two professionals here. Very good job. Thank you, Iris. Sandrita? Good evening. Hi, good evening, sweetheart. Um, I choose the number, I choose the number four. Uh -huh. If I had a year of vacation time, in my case, I would travel around the world and shopping a little thing. <laughs> shopping, 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 right? Very good, very good. So you will travel around the world. That's fantastic, Sandrita. Take me with you. Byron, go ahead. <clears throat> If I had a year of vacation time, I think I would go travel to South America. Oh, you will go to South America. How beautiful. Okay, to South America. Thank you, Byron. Excellent answer. Okay. Who's next? Thank you, Carlos. Go ahead. Number four uh, is I have a year of vacation time. I will visit the seven wonders of the world. The seven wonders of the world. Beautiful, right? Thank you, Carlos. Very good answer. Who's next? Okay, first Christina and then Emma. Go ahead. Okay, the number two. If I have three wishes uh, i will wish my mom was eternal have lots of nice nice clothes and eat without getting fat i love the, the the first one is my favorite right i will i will love her to be forever and eating without getting fat i think that's the dream of everybody eating whatever thing without getting fat yeah, I love your wishes. They are beautiful. Thank you, Christina. Emma, go ahead. The number four. Uh -huh. If I have a vacation time, uh, I think I will travel to Europa or visit my family. Okay, to travel to Europe. Europe or visit your family. Good, very good job. Someone else? Let's see, Pablo, René David, Giselle, Marbelli, Daisy, Elvia, Marloncito. The number four. Okay. If I have a year of vacation time, I would like to be able to travel to another country. Okay, I would like to be able to travel to another country. Thank you, Daisy. Vacation, right, vacation vacation time someone else okay Damari Merari number two if I, I had three wash I will ask for unlimited wish <laughs> good <laughs> good trick right if I had three wishes I will ask for unlimited wishes that's a good a good trick, definitely. Thank you, Damaris. <laughs> Very good job. Giselle, go ahead. And uh, Elvia, go ahead. Um, if I could change something about myself, I will think that all people are good. Okay, I will think that all people are good, right? That's something that you could change. Okay, that's a, a curious thing. That's a curious thing. Thank you, Elvia, very good. Ana Julia. Okay, number four. Uh -huh. If I had a year of vacation time, I would like to travel to Argentina, Spain, and Israel. Hey, nice trip. Very beautiful answer, right? I would love to travel to Argentina too. That's fantastic. Mr. Elmer and, the, and later Elizabeth and then Nelson. 
It was volunteer. Yo lo, yo lo hice voluntario. <laughs> the no, number four. If I have a year of vacation time, I would like to go to USA. I would like to go to USA. That's beautiful. Thank you, Almer. Elizabeth. Good evening. Hi. Um, hi. Um, I choose the two questions. Uh -huh. two. If, I, I, if I have three wishes. My first wish is I would, I would be traveling around the world. I will travel around the world. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I will be per person and I go job in the mountain and I be in contact in, with the nature. Okay, so you will be, well, first you will travel, right? You will be a better person and you will uh, move to the mountains. That's so beautiful, right? Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mr. Nelson. Good evening, everyone. Uh, number two, if I have the wishes, uh, the first wish, uh, I want a new car. Uh, second wish, I want a big house. And, and I want a lot of uh, health, salud. Health. 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 Yeah, that's good, right? A lot of health, a new car, a new house, and a lot of money to pay the things of the new car and the new house, right? Good, very good. Yes. And the last uh, person that I will ask, it will be, let me see, uh, check, check, check. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Pablo, thank you very much, volunteering. No, yo no dije que iba a ser bueno. <laughs> no, I am choosing you. Yo lo estoy escogiendo. Sí, teacher, sí. Number four. Uh, if I have a year of vacation, I will go to Machu Picchu, Egypt, uh, Tibet, Roma, and India, Alaska, uh, Tierra del Fuego. <laughs> and this one, and this one. Iberia, I... et cetera, et cetera. How oh, beautiful. That would be a fantastic trip. Okay, a lot of places to visit. Thank you. Thank you, Pablo. You see, you didn't want to volunteer, but okay. you had a very good answer, right? Uh, remember on the pronunciation, right? If I have three, three wishes, right? If I could have any job I wanted, uh, if I had a year of vacation time, if I could change one thing about myself, and if a relative asked to borrow some money, I would. Mr. Oscar, go ahead. Question number three, if I could have any job, I want to be an owner of a hotel on the beach or maybe a hotel on the mountain. Okay, maybe, yeah, I would will, I will love to have a hotel at the beach. Mm -hmm. That would be very beautiful. So nice, nice answer. Nice answer, my dear Oscar. Okay, my dear students, very good job on the answers. Very good job. So we're going to have this little practice. And in this one, we are going to have a multiple choice, okay? Let me make it like this, okay? The first one says, Ana Julia, can you help me with the first example? When I went back to the park in Lodz, I tried to get into someone else's car by mistake. Okay, I tried to get into someone else's car by mistake, right? You were opening the door of another car, that it was not your car. What about number two? Elvia, can you help me? Yes, teacher. Um, if I saw a friend uh, sharing on an exam, sharing on an exam, I what I do, what I do. I will go. I go. 
um, I, I go. You have actually, um, probably, and straight. Actually. Probably to the teacher. I will go probably to the teacher. Does it sound correct? Straight. Straight to the teacher. I will go straight yes. to the teacher, right? Straight. 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 The straight to the teacher. Straight to the teacher. In this case, it's like you don't go and say like, quizás le digo a Juan primero y después a la madre. No, you go straight to the teacher, right? You go straight to the teacher and tell her what's going on. Cheating. Cheating is when you have, for example, the answers of the test on something and you are just checking and copying, right? That's cheating. Cheating can be used also in relationships. When you have a relationship with someone and you can say, ah, oh, he's cheating on me, okay? Me está siendo infiel. So that's the meaning of cheating. In the case of exams, you are not being loyal to education, right? Because you are, you are doing something incorrect, exactly on relationships. Number three, Byron, help me. I am in a difficult problem at work. I don't know whether to talk to my boss about it or just quit. Uh -huh. It can be, uh, okay. Imagine it. Thank you very much, Byron. Do you see? The, uh, the problem. I am in a difficult problem at work, right? I don't know whether to talk to my boss about it or just quit, right? You have a difficult problem. If I saw someone, number four, René David, help me with number four. If I saw someone, the segwing in a store, I tell the store manager immediately. Okay. If I saw someone in a store, I will tell the store manager immediately. What is something incorrect that you can do in a store? Shoplifting. 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 Right? Ah, beautiful. I don't, I don't know what is that. Shoplifting is when you take things that are not yours and you take them without uh, paying, right? No, stolen. It's like stolen. Yeah, it's when you stole when you stole something, it's like ah, you saw it and you just took it, right? And it can be anything. But shoplifting okay, is I when you it. when you hide the products, right? Okay, I got it. It's admirable. Let me say that. I I watch uh, the news one day on which a person had like 20 different bottles of shampoo on the jeans. I don't know how they do it. Salía en una, era una, como una maxi despensa, creo que era. La maxi despensa no me paga nada por este comercial. Llevaba como 20 botas de shampoo en un jeans. And I was like, well, <laughs> I cannot even walk with my cell phone and the keys on the pocket. So shoplifting, that you are taking things from the store without Pain. Number five. Number five. Uh, Ana Julia, help me with number five. I use one um, 20, 20, 20,000. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, in the lottery in What are you going to do? Are you going to return the money? Regresarían el dinero? <laughs> Sell the money? It's not possible, right? You are going to invest it, right? Inver invest. Invertirlo, right? Invest, invest it. I just won $20,000 in the lottery, right? The lottery. The next one, number six. Marbelli, can you help me? Number six. Okay, my Marbel is not there. Manuelito, Manuel Alejandro, number six. Can you help me to read it? Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was sitting. Don't worry. 
Number six, can you help me to read it? I just read a great novel. Would you like to accept it? Okay, I've just read a great novel. I had the book and I finish. Would you like to? Borrow. Borrow, right? Borrow it. It's like when you say like, ¿Quieres que te lo preste? Would you like to borrow it? I will say yes, for sure, because I love to read physical books. Number sure. seven, yes? How do you say buen provecho in English? Enjoy. Enjoy, Enjoy. your meal. I will send it to you okay, on the chat. Thank you. Yeah, those are words that we normally use, but we don't know how to use it. Enjoy your meal. And many people say, good provecho. Please don't do it, okay? Cada vez que se inventan una palabra, llora un mini lerus, un mini sopen. Number seven. I think, I think Tom has financial problems, but he denies. Denies. It's like, no, everything is fine. No, no problem. No problem. Do you have $10? <laughs> he denies it, right? Disagrees is like you, you are not in agreement with someone and dislike is like that you don't like. And the last one, let me see. I'm going to ask someone else for help. I will ask, um, let me see. Daisy, please, number eight. Daisy, ta? Hello, hello. Muy buenas noches. Teacher Nati, busca Daisy. ¿Dónde está? Thank you. Saul, can you help me? My out. Ajá. También se usa. Ah, ya vino, ya vino. <laughs> ya lo iba a regañar que andaba perdido. My aunt. Yo, Saulito. Ok. My aunt uh, forgot to lend my hair car because she thinks I am terrible driver okay can you use forgot in this case because it's like no because it may be refused refuse right because she doesn't want to do it she says that you are a terrible driver so my aunt refused so she said no no never mind to lend me her car because she thinks i'm a terrible driver do you consider yourselves good drivers or bad drivers? Bad drivers. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I am a bad driver because I don't drive. So that makes me really bad. I have here uh, five, well, six problems. I have six problems and I have a couple of advice. Okay, just let me, let me make it on. There you go. I think it's the, the size that I want. Okay. You have six different problems, right? And we have some pieces of advice. A piece of advice is consejo, right? That is an advice, un consejo. And here we have six different options for advice. The advices that we have here is the first one. I guess I will take back to the store and exchange it for someone else. I guess I will write a letter of complaint to the manufacturer. Maybe I will ask them to repair it. I think I will make an appointment to see the instructor to talk about it. I will probably wait until next month to see if the mistake is corrected. And the last one, I will write a letter to the city council and ask them to pay for the damage, right? New words or new vocabulary on these six options, people? New words, vocabulary. A letter of complaint. It's like, ah, queridos señores de la clase de Teacher Nati. Teacher Nati me ha dejado tareas todas estos días. Yo no tengo tiempo para hacerlo. That it's complaining. You are like, cuando te quejas por algo en una carta. So that's a letter of complaint. 
An appointment es una cita, right? An appointment. The city council, el alcalde. O el consejo de ciudadanos, the city council. The mistake, what is the meaning of mistake? Equivocarse o error. El error, el error. Error. Wrong. Yeah, the mistake, that's very good. So here you have the six different advice and here you have the different mistakes, teacher, right? Yep. Teacher Nati, what does damage? Damage, mm -hmm. daño, mm -hmm. daño. Thank you. I will ask them to pay for the damage, que me paguen por los daños causados. And here we have uh, the six situations. I need one volunteer to help me to read the number one and two. Number one, you sat on a park bench that had wet paint on it. You ran your clothes, there was no wet paint sign. Good, there was no wet paint sign. And your clothes are stained now. Number two. You check your bank statement and notice that there was a deposit of 1,000. You didn't make the deposit. You are sure it was a bank error. Error, right, a bank error. Those errors never happened to me. <laughs> Number three. You <laughs> continue, continue. It's okay, continue. You bought a digital camera. On sale. On a sales store. A store, but it didn't work right. The store manager said, we, we can, can not do anything about it okay we cannot do anything about it right it's not working i'm very sorry elizabeth help me with number four you were not happy with the grade you got in the universe in a university course oh you are not happy with the grade Ana julia help me with number five your next door neighbor Borrow with your vacuum cleaner vacuum or back no vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner vacuum. when they return it 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 was damaged. Okay, your next door neighbors borrow your vacuum cleaner when they return it. It was damaged. What is a vacuum cleaner? Una aspiradora. And the last one, everybody, help me. A friend. Uh a friend yeah, gave you a tip for your birthday, but you didn't like it. You didn't like it. What is a base? Un florero, right? Your friend gave you an expensive base for your birthday, but you didn't really like it. What are you going to do with each of the situations? Here you have the problems and the advice. Okay, I think you can see them there so you can have the whole picture. No sé si lo pueden ver bien. Lo voy a dejar aquí. Chen, chen, chen. Okay. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Ah, okay. I am yeah. going to I am going to leave it there for you to make the match. And I am going to call the attendance. Se los dejo para que vayan haciendo el match. Y voy a pasar lista en todos. Okay. Okay, teacher. There you go. I need you to work on that. Okay. I need you to work on this. And... I will call the attendance. Make the matching. One problem, one solution. Okay, I have the attendance. Okay. Let me see. Mm 
No, sorry. I opened the incorrect one. Ya ven, por eso no me enamoré. I me made too. mistakes. Let me see. I will continue looking for it. No. Oh, yeah, it was this one. Yes. Okay, I have it now. And I will go here. Please complete the answers, okay? Ana Julia? Present teacher. Thank you. Byron? Present teacher. Carlos Fernando? Present. Cristina Abigail? Present. Damaris Merari? Present. Daisy Magdalena? Elizabeth del Carmen? Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio? I'm here teacher. Elvia Sofía? Present teacher. Emma? Present teacher. Giselle? Iris Rosario? Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Thank you. Marbel y Jocelyn? Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto? Present teacher. Natalie? Nelson? Present. Oscar Eduardo? Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Reyes? Present teacher. Patricia Verónica? René David? Present teacher. Sandra y Anette? I'm here. Sara Maria. Present teacher. Saul. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, Patricia, Patricia, Patricia is not here. Okay, so let's check on your answers. Let me see. I will go here. Let's check on your answers. What will be the solution for the first problem? You sat on a park bench that had wet paint on it and you ruined your clothes. The last one, I write the letter to the city council and ask them to pay for the damage. Very good, right? They have to pay for the clothes. You check your bank account and you have extra $1,000. What will you do? I probably wait until the next month to see if the mistake is correct. <laughs> and then the next month you're going to spend the money, right? <laughs> good, very good. Number three, you bought a digital camera and it didn't work. Maybe I asked them to repair it. Very good. You were not happy with the grade you got at the university course. I think I make an appointment to see the instructor talk about it. Very good job. And your next door neighbor borrow your vacuum cleaner and they return it damage. Maybe I will ask them to repair it. Yes, maybe I will ask them to repair it. And for the camera, you can call the manufacturer because the camera is new. And the last one, a friend gave you an expensive base for your birthday. And first one, I guess I, I will take it back to the store and return it for something else. You should go and buy something different, right? So let me just, okay. Uh, the, the topic that we were studying today is the past models, right? I will do it. I will have told them I should have or I shouldn't have. Here you have it on your manual, right? You have some extra exercises as well. So you can check it out. Lo tienen en su manual también. Yo estoy ocupando otros ejercicios. But you can use it, right? Here you have other situations that you can do the matching. And for sure, 
we are going to work tomorrow on uh, the reading. So please, if you can advance on the reading, that will be perfect, okay? That will be for tomorrow. We're going to work on reading tomorrow. Well, that's all for today, my dear students. I'm going to see you tomorrow for our final class. Please don't miss it, okay? Have a wonderful day. Thank you, teacher. Thank see you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Goodbye. Have a beautiful night. night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.